Hey there guys, what's going on? So, I went on a little bit of a hiatus last week, took a little bit of a, uh, a jaunt down to New York City, uh, where really, admittedly, a lot of fun stuff happened, and some stuff that uh, I'm definitely going to talk about in a couple of, uh, of quick videos, one coming up today, and uh, one probably coming up tomorrow. Uh, it depends on how I feel about the length of it. It may end up becoming a blog piece, or... Uh, it, it may end up uh, going into a little bit of a, a longer video, but for now I wanted to definitely focus on quicker videos. And uh, in today's installment, this is just more about uh, not so much what happened to me while I was there in the big city, but uh, more about what was waiting for me when I came back. Um, now, I've never actually done a video on anything not directly featuring something musical and uh, technically this video doesn't fall outside that category because there is something musical in this little um, unboxing of sorts if you will um, but this is probably the first time in fact I'm not I'm gonna throw out the probably this is definitely the first time I featured a music related item uh, that was definitely not something you could listen to or put on a turntable or something like that. This is definitely a little more outside the box for me, but uh, it's it's something that I've been waiting a few months in the making to talk about, and uh, I'm pretty excited to do a little, uh, a little video here on it today. Now this this started up um, this started up a few months back, as, as I mentioned. Uh, when I had heard that uh, Jay Maskus, who is the frontman for Dinosaur Jr., uh, has his own brilliant solo career, has done stuff with Jay Maskus in the Fog, he's he's been around a while. Um, I his solo record from back in uh, in 2012 was uh, one of my absolute favorite understated acoustic records. Uh, not only of that year, but uh, really it's one I keep coming back to and one that I really, I love the hell out of and definitely um, it, it makes him very endearing to me as a solo artist in addition to the, the Dinosaur Jr. stuff and just his amazing guitar playing, all that stuff. But to, to cut to the chase here, um, I had heard that he was, he had done a deal or put a deal together with uh, the Keep uh, shoe company, I guess they, they keep, they do clothing, shoes, different, different stuff, uh, to put together sort of a, sort of a boot sneaker type of deal, uh, an exclusive limited production, pre-order only, uh, and, and then shortly after, I think some limited quantities were left, um, only a few hundred made, uh, really limited, but I liked the look of the, the shoe, and, uh, I have a little bit of an issue with collecting uh, shoes to begin with, but if you, if you throw musical-related shoes into the mix, you know, that really have an interesting feel to them, uh, you know, I'm definitely going to be kind of in it uh, hook, line, and sinker. So, there is a whole package at play here. Stuff you could get, you would get the, the shoes, and then, like, uh, a picture disc uh, with, a, with a song on it. Uh, hence tying into the still being musical thing with having something you can put on a turntable. Um, and just a few little odds and ends that you could kind of get in there. And I was very intrigued. So, you know, I, I ended up uh, acquiring them. And they were actually meant to come out, I believe, in June. They got pushed back to August and then were brought right back. Uh, into they were brought back into July because the delays that they'd had had gone better than expected and then they were they were pushed up and and uh, things had gone much better in terms of producing the picture disc and I got to give it to Keep Company as opposed to the issues with 4AD and with the National with Trouble Will Find Me um, by the way if I get any chance to compare that with anything you know I will because 4AD was, has been one of the most horrendous displays of handling uh, a delayed pre-order in my life. I, I, it's one of the worst things I've ever seen. They don't know how to uh, properly uh, you know, handle uh, you know, a delay, how to put that together, how to, keep fan, how to keep the fans and buyers informed. You know, they're really awful. Um, but that that's a story for another video when that eventually comes, which it, it should be soon enough. Uh, Keep Company did really great about this. They kept everybody up to date, and then the delays got 
the delay got moved back up a little closer in time, so then we, you know, then it was time to actually get to enjoy the product. And uh, and when I got back this week, here it was waiting for me, ready to wear and to enjoy. Now, like I said, this is very <laughs> this is very new for me. This isn't. Uh, this is, seems more of like the, uh, it's like something more in the fashion music genre, which is not something I'm terribly well acquainted with, but I'll tell you what limited info I have on this. Um, I know for a fact that it's, it's sort of a micro suede. I believe the top is a, is a suede of some kind. This feels so strange. This feels so strange to, to, to do a video like this. Uh, but it's like a, a micro suede on the top. It's very soft, actually. There's a little little schmutz here I have to get rid of at some point. Um, very, very soft, um, really just a really, um, like, I don't know, very conforming type of material. Like, it really adheres to the foot. You don't feel like uh, you. it's a shoe you have to really break in right offhand. Like, it's uh, it's a little on the pricier side at, at 70 some uh, bucks, but with the extras and all that, it's, it's, it's a very comfortable shoe. Um, like a vulcanized rubber on the bottom here uh, for reinforced uh, strength. You've got a green tread underneath, which I guess is signature for, for the uh, Keep company. And this is actually the, the real signature of the whole design here, this back uh, segment, which is based off of one of Jay's uh, guitar straps, which I think is a really uh, cool aspect. Uh, you got Dinosaur Jr., written on the tongue there. It, it's kind of a Jay Mascus Dinosaur Jr. collab because um, I didn't see anything really about the other members being involved in this, but it still has the Dino Jr. name on it. Um, I mean, it, it's a shoe. I don't really know how much you can describe unless you, you know, you can wear it yourself. Like I said before, very extremely comfortable, uh, conforms to the foot very nicely. I need to clean that because that's definitely going to get on my nerves a little bit. Uh, <laughs> uh, but it's 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 a great feeling shoe. Uh, it's a cool color in purple, something a little uh, off the wall and uh, you know interesting to kind of uh, go with long pants specifically. This, again, feels so strange. I'm a music person, not a not a fashion person, but um, it's a, definitely a shoe that goes well with jeans, long pants, that kind of stuff. And, uh, and, and it's cool to have something that's really in limited production like this. That's really an exceptional, uh, you know, exceptionally well-made, great quality, a uh, little bit of dog hair from my house. But other than that, really just very stellar, really well-made shoe that I'm, I'm finding myself to be enjoying more and more. And uh, to move forward here from all this... Uh, they also threw in and uh, threw in ten dollars off the next purchase. I don't know if that'll actually happen, but it's nice anyway. They threw in a free tote bag with the Keep Dinosaur Junior uh, lo logo there that uh, was for the delay. See again, a thing that 4AD is not doing, putting something together to say here's a little freebie for you know how we kind of screwed things up. You know you kind of got to do that when it's it's you know a long term delay. And then to actually talk about a little bit of music here and to feel more at home, they also included the picture disc, again, with that design from the tote bag as well as a design with the, the, uh, the boot sneaker things on the back, with uh, a really nice cover that Jay does of the, the Mazzy Star song, uh, Fade Into You. It's on both sides for some reason, so I guess you can enjoy the way both ends spin. And it's kind of a warbly, kind of lo-fi sounding, uh, sounding thing, but it sounds nice. It's uh, it's that that acoustic Jay Mascus sound, which really is kind of my favorite approach of all the different uh, the different sounds of his that I've heard. Uh, the heavy electric stuff doesn't always do it for me. Uh, but that's just a nice track to listen to. You can just kind of relax to it, put it on, watch it spin around. It's got a cool little design to it. And uh, I gotta say, this is, you know, this is a fun little package in general. You know, it's, again, it's, it feels very unusual to talk about this sort of thing, to kind of mention sneakers and like a shoe related to music. But, uh, you know, it's relevant to the whole musical thing. And, uh, you know, I definitely enjoyed this little uh, 
this little purchase as it was months in the making, but it was uh, it was definitely well worth the wait. So, you know, if you were curious about that or any of that sort of thing, I hope you found this video to be very interesting, to say the least. Um, I'm looking forward to getting back to the comfort zone of vinyl and regular music, which we'll be doing in the next upcoming videos. Uh, I thank you for watching. I'm glad to be back off hiatus. Let's go get some more good videos done this week. And uh, until next time, guys, keep your music flowing and your vinyl spinning. I will see you all very, very soon.